Hello, grade nines. So in this lesson, I will be speaking about common factor factorization. Now, we get different types of factorization. This factorization is about using a common factor to write the algebraic expression as a product. So let's first speak about what a common factor is. Now, I gave you a few examples in your notes, but I just chose one to go through with you. So 12, that's the number 12, and 20. If I compare these two numbers, I can write down all the factors. Now, 12's factors are 1, because 12 divided by 1 is 12. Now, remember, a factor is a number that can divide into another number without a remainder. So if I divide 12 by 1, I get 12. No remainder. What else can I use? 2, because 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, you know this, so I'm just going to go through this quickly. 12 divided by 3 is 4, 6, and 12. Now, when I'm comparing two numbers and I'm comparing their factors, I need to look at where they have common factors, if they have any. So let's look at 20's factors. It's 1, it's 2. Can 3 divide into 20 without a remainder? No. 4, 5, and then 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 20 divided by 1 is 20. Remember, these factors all occur in pairs, okay? So you can see here that 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12. And that's a quick way for you to check whether you've written all of them down. Now, we're going to try and identify the common numbers. We've got a 2 there and a 2 there. We've got a 1 and a 1. And we also have a 4 and a 4. These are all the numbers that are common or the factors that are common between 12 and 20. The highest common factor is the one that has the biggest value. So which one is the highest common factor? The highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4. Okay? Right. Now we can also look at common factors of algebraic expressions. So if I write down x squared and x, then I can compare these two terms and I can see that both of them have factors of x. If I write this out in expanded form, I'll get x multiplied by x. That's just one factor of x. So how many factors of x will be common between these two? Only one. Okay, so the highest common factor between these two will be x. Let's look at another two. x and y or b, y. So this is x multiplied by y and this is b multiplied by y. If I compare these, what's the common factor between x, y? and by. That's the thing they have in common. So what do they have in common? They've got a factor of y in common. So there are many rules for this and I gave you a few examples to outline them but I'm going to move on into how we actually use this concept in factorizing common by common factor. Okay that will be in the next video.